I sure did making it. In today's episode, we're actually going to show you how to install React OS into your virtual box. Now, React OS is uh, a Windows replacement, or wanting to be a Windows replacement, and it achieves this by um, uh, uh, reverse engineering the Windows API, which at this stage is still closed source. The link will be down in the description to, to get it, but it is an ISO. I've got it right here on the desktop. Let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up VirtualBox. You can get VirtualBox at virtualbox.org. Once we've opened up VirtualBox, we're going to open up a new, uh, new, and then type in Win Window. Uh, you can come react to us. Uh, it doesn't really matter what it is. Windows XP 32 bit suits is fine. And I would recommend 256 for now. Uh, 10 gigabytes is absolutely perfect. Uh, everything else is okay. 10 gigabytes is fine. And we're going to click on the start button. Click on here. Make sure to select your right ISO. Remember, the ISO download is located in the description. So, it will, it will take a little while to bit up, but, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, it's very reminiscent of uh, the Windows XP install. So, it's almost word to word, except they've replaced Windows with React OS, and that, yeah, so I'm just going to accept, accept, next, next. So it's just going to do everything, next, and it's going to copy the files. Uh, so, after this uh, pre-install, it will go up to a GUI, so that's pretty simple. Install bootloader, it's fine, and now you need it. So, uh, I forgot to remove the image, but that's what happens. React OS is fine. So, let's wait for it to boot up. It's very quick. This window, it looks exactly like Windows Classic theme, so, yeah, it looks exactly like Windows. Now, um, why would I, I, I would recommend that you wouldn't use this as your general OS, just for testing and playing around with. Maybe in the future I'll make a video if it's really, uh, exceeded and really, um, really good. But for now it's very buggy, but it's still good to have a look at. It's not very stable though, but that doesn't really matter. As you can see, it, it uses the technology of Wine, which I'll make a video about later. Uh, we're going to click on next here. Uh, yeah, this is fine. We're going to have our name, PC4. And we're going to click on next. Administrator password will be uh, the same as what you would use. Alright, that's fine. And it will register everything. Right, so we just need to remove the devices, so let me just do that quickly. And then we click on finish. Alright, so it's loading perfectly. It's very quick. So uh, the version I got before was very, it was slowish, but this is definitely improved. I would recommend that you just click on cancel, because sometimes it can blue screen this when it comes up with this. Cancel. As you can see, it looks exactly like Windows XP, except they replace the Windows flag logo with this. Alright, so that concludes our tutorial on how to set up um, React OS on a VirtualBox machine. Now, I haven't really played around to it to get the sound working, although it seems to be working fine. The network seems to be working fine, hopefully. But yeah, thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs>